A huge storm is set to impact the United States over the next few days, and this will bring a bunch of problems, including significant severe weather, which includes damaging winds, very large hail, and the potential for tornadoes. Additionally, a significant flooding threat is set to take place across the Ozarks over the next few days, and even back into the Tennessee Valley, where a widespread 4 to 10 inches of rain is in the forecast. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States states over the next seven days and we'll begin with what's happening across the country today and we've actually had some big storms over the last 24 hours across parts of kansas oklahoma and as well as texas and we end up having a few big hailstorms yesterday but really nothing in the way of tornadoes across most of the central and southern plains i do think that will change today and i am expecting a much more widespread area of severe storms today across the central and southern plains and even back into the dixie alley and the tennessee valley where damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes will all be in play, and this should continue into Monday and as well as Tuesday. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, and we'll begin with today, which is Sunday. We have an enhanced risk of severe weather in place across southern Oklahoma and also north central Texas. Back over into the Texas Panhandle, this is a level 3 out of 5 for severe weather, where numerous severe storms are likely this afternoon and evening. We also have a slight risk that goes from central and northern Alabama back into New Mexico, and a marginal threat that goes from the Denver. Denver, Colorado area back into Florida. So our main concerns for today will be large to very large hail and damaging winds. Damaging winds could actually be as high as 80 to 85 miles per hour back over near Wichita Falls, Texas, just to the south of Amarillo near Lubbock and also into southwestern Oklahoma as a line of thunderstorms is expected to form later this afternoon into the evening hours. But scatter damaging winds still a possibility from the Dixie Alley back into the southern plains. Additionally, very large hail is a possibility, especially out of our initial supercells. This does include areas near Oklahoma City, also back over towards Lubbock, Texas, and also just outside of Dallas, Fort Worth, where we could have some hailstone sizes as large as the size of apples. So make sure that you're protecting your vehicle in addition to your pets and plants. And then our tornado threat for today is a whale that extends from Colorado and New Mexico back into Oklahoma and Texas, where we do have a 5% tornado risk in place that is just outside of Wichita Falls, Texas, back towards Lubbock and across southwestern Oklahoma, where a few tornadoes tornadoes do appear possible this afternoon into the early evening hours. An isolated tornado threat may evolve as well near Oklahoma City and just outside of Dallas Fort Worth. I personally think that they will likely extend our 5% tornado risk to go just to the south there of Oklahoma City. So generally speaking, a few tornadoes are possible today. Stay weather aware, have multiple ways to receive warnings, and I would not rule out a strong tornado with one of these supercells that develops today. It's just a conditional risk overall, and there's not enough there for this to be a 10% hatch tornado risk at this time. As we go into Monday, our threat of severe weather will start to shift a little bit further down to the south to include more areas in Texas and Oklahoma. Additionally, going back through the Dixie Alley where scattered severe weather will be possible, especially in Texas. The main concerns right now for Monday will be damaging winds, also large to very large hail, especially back over to the south of Abilene, Texas, near San Angelo, where hail could be as large as the size of softballs out of a supercell or two. There's also a chance for a couple of tornadoes on Monday. I personally think that there will likely be some sort of 5% tornado risk that gets issued just off to the southwest of DFW, south of Abilene. That is generally around San Angelo. I think we'll have a slightly more elevated tornado threat, but nonetheless, a tornado or two are possible even back up near Dallas, Fort Worth, and just off to the west of Shreveport. And then as we end into Tuesday, the risk of severe weather will be at its lowest point really in quite some time. We have a large marginal threat of severe weather from Texas back to the east coast, where some damaging winds, large hail, and an isolated tornado or two will be possible. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we got a slight risk somewhere back over near Houston or in southern Texas, but nonetheless, it does look like that Tuesday is going to be a low-end day for severe weather across the board, despite it being a large area. So here's the timing for severe weather today, beginning with the Ohio Valley, where there will be some scattered severe storms across northern Arkansas and northeast Oklahoma this morning. Just after lunchtime, a small cluster of storms will be developing across Arkansas, which should reach the Mississippi River Valley during the mid-afternoon hours, with mainly some damage winds really not expecting much more beyond damaging winds out of this line it's honestly very similar to what we saw yesterday across these same exact areas just a little bit later into the afternoon hours so by around six o'clock that line will be moving into southern arkansas northwest mississippi just outside of memphis where damaging winds should continue a low-end tornado risk can't be ruled out out of a storm or two and then eventually into the overnight hours that threat will start to weaken out and then as we go into monday a few more scattered severe storms are possible across the dixie alley and then across the southern 
plains. We will have a continuation of showers and thunderstorms this morning as that line of storms continues to push towards the Mississippi River Valley. There will be a few more storms that fire off behind it right around 1 to 2 o'clock just to the east of Oklahoma City. The majority of these storms will be hail and wind producers. By around 3 to 4 o'clock, storms will begin to initiate back over in West Texas, which is really going to be the main key for today, which I do expect the threat for very large hail and a couple of tornadoes to be in play, especially around 4, 5, 6 o'clock. And notice how these storms continue to blow up just off to the west of Wichita Falls near Childress and just to the south and east there of Amarillo, where significant damaging winds, hail, and a couple of tornadoes will be a possibility. This one looks like by around 7 o'clock, we got a long line of thunderstorms ongoing across Mississippi and Arkansas. And then in addition to that, we got a bunch of other storms ongoing that are going to be pretty scattered to numerous near Oklahoma City, back towards Lubbock and Midland. Eventually by 8 to 9 o'clock, these storms will start to cluster together a little bit more, and this is when the significant wind threat is going to come more into play in addition to very large hail just off to the north of Abilene and also just outside of Oklahoma City. By around 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, these storms will continue to push east towards the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I think most of the concern for the DFW area will be damaging winds and a little bit of isolated hail. There could be an isolated tornado, but generally speaking, it's going to be a low chance. One thing that could kick off our tornado threat is if we do get a couple of lines of storms that kind of converge in a single area that might create a spin-up tornado or two just outside of Dallas Fort Worth that'd be the biggest thing to watch for and then overnight these storms will continue to push east we will likely continue to see some scattered damaging winds continue towards Texarkana and then as we go into Monday morning it is just a mess of storm activity across both Texas and Louisiana and then as we go into Monday our risk of severe weather will really be focused further down to the south and west of Oklahoma but what's going to be interesting is that I do think we are going to see multiple supercells on Monday so not necessarily these lines or clusters of thunderstorms that develop. Instead, we are talking about a better chance of discrete supercells, and this could lead to a potential for not just tornadoes, but also giant hail back over in West Texas. So I think generally speaking right now, I do think that Monday is one of the more concerning days when it comes to our tornado potential. Even though it's only a 2% tornado risk right now, I could definitely see that going up depending on trends here. But we will likely be talking about some large hail and damaging winds, especially across parts of Texas, even as we go into Monday evening as those storms go towards areas like Austin and San Antonio. So generally over the next few days, we are going to once again have a ton of storms out there and I do fully expect that there will be a good amount of severe weather, not necessarily a widespread tornado or severe weather outbreak, but definitely notable here over the next few days. Make sure that you are staying weather aware, have multiple ways to receive warnings, and there is a chance that we go live today and tomorrow for severe weather coverage, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And then beyond Monday, our showers and thunderstorms will be continuing along the Gulf Coast as that low pressure system begins to weaken and moves further towards the Ohio Valley. We really will not have a whole lot left after Wednesday. There will be another round, I think, of some severe weather in the central and southern plains on Wednesday. Damaging winds, hail, maybe an isolated tornado being possible. But notice how it gets much quieter by Friday and Saturday. We only have a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity left over going towards the East Coast and along the Gulf Coast. And notice this little H over here. That is our large high pressure system that is going to build across the Great Plains by the weekend, which should make things at least somewhat quieter as we go into the first couple of days of June. But I do think we are going to begin to see a more active and robust weather pattern return again by around June 5th, 6th, and 7th, which I know that is still very far out from now. Things could definitely change, but a lot of models, including long-term ensembles, have been hinting that we will begin to see our severe weather shift a little bit further to the north towards the central northern plains, the Midwest, and even back over into the Ohio Valley during the first couple of weeks there of June. So definitely a weather pattern that we're going to have to keep a very close eye on, and I do think that we are nowhere near the end here of severe weather season, so definitely continue to stay weather aware. And another big concern that this storm system is bringing is the flooding threat, and we are expecting a large area to pick up between 4 to 8 inches of rain over the next 7 days, including areas near Joplin, Missouri, back towards Dallas-Fort Worth, even into northern and central parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Those are all areas that are in the picture here for 4 to 8 inches of rain here over the next seven days and if you're anywhere in the red we could also see around two to three inches of rainfall so again be ready for some heavy rain over the next seven days though we are not really talking about one event that dumps all the rain at once it is going to be over an elongated period of time here mostly over the next four to five days where there will be multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms which should lead to a more elevated risk of flooding and the climate prediction center has released their latest forecast for the very end of may into early june for both rainfall in addition to temperatures beginning with rainfall we are expecting 
expecting above average precipitation across the four corner states, southern plains all the way back through the southeast and even into the northeast during this time frame. In addition to our temperatures, which honestly might surprise some of you, but we are actually expecting below average temperatures across the central and southern plains, Ohio Valley and northeast anytime between May 30th all the way through June 3rd. Above average temperatures also will continue around and just off to the north and west of the Rocky Mountains. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. There's a chance of a live stream both today and tomorrow, so click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live. Additionally, I am not entirely sure if we're doing a video tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see, but I do think videos will probably become every other day again for at least a short period of time once our weather starts to settle down a little bit later this week. But no matter what, we are continuing to watch for severe weather, so definitely stay tuned, and we'll see you guys all again in the next forecast or live stream.